Well, tonight your story takes us to Chepkunyuk village in Nandi Hills. That's right, where 65-year-old William Oliech has baffled many residents with his eating machine, which he has christened China. But his is specifically designed for amputees and people with disabilities to help them eat with ease. That's right. This story, the eating machine man, was suggested by residents of Chepkunyuk who call Oliech Kip Let Met. Or the white-haired one in the local dialect. Take a look. If necessity is truly the mother of invention, as Plato said, then this machine was made not to seek fame or attention. With this machine, one does not need electricity. It's fitted with a rotating plate, a spoon, a thermos flask, and a toothbrush, powered by gear levers and springs. It also has inbuilt wheels, which make it easy to move it from one point to another. This is the China machine. In China, 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 in Nandi, Mana in Nandi. I'm William Onyango Oliech from this area of Chepkunyu Ward. Now this machine. This idea came when I was 13 years old. This was uh, the year 1978. In so pondering for that too long, uh, four years ago and a month is when I started uh, uh, this project of the eating machine. This came after I had uh, read in Taifaleo in those old days about one of the soldiers who was chopped off the arms. So I kept on recalling, how can this person be helped? So it pinched me that much. I started drafting the notes, giving the sketches, till previously I came up, up uh, with the machine that uh, you have just seen here. For Oliech, like any other person who has dared to invent, the people around him were very skeptical. Not only did they criticize him and his idea, but also they thought it was a bad omen. <laughs> Lakini maswali mengi, changamoto, matusi, zilikuwepo, lakini bado ntazili tu kuzipokea hizo. But he persisted for decades buying scrap metal and used bicycle parts to assemble his machine. <laughs> and when it was finally complete, the people's perception changed. He is now popularly known as Mr. Inventor. Na mshukuru sana kwa hii project, wila alifikiria, kusaidia wale mavu. Tunamuita Kiblelgut, sababu ya uzeo wake. But just apart from being an inventor, Oliech is also a tailor and a painter. Hata nimewahi yeye yeye aniundie mafiti ya butterfly, lakini hii machine yake ndio imetushangaza zaidi. Hii machine yake tumeona but an invention in the words of Tom Rayleigh has to make sense in the world it finishes in, not the world it started. He has other designs to meet different challenges for different disability needs and ways of operating other than foot pedaling. His work is still not complete until it is commercialized and gets to the people whose lives will be made easier by using it. <laughs> kwa wingi sana kwa mitindo tofauti zile nyepesi zile mzito na kuweza kupeana kwa kiasi ambacho labda maana viume viume pia tunanunua kuna barua ambazo nimeandika zimeenda kule lakini unajua siku hizi mtu akikwambia nitakupigia simu unajua hiyo toa kabisa kwa roho yako i will call you nipe namba ukiambia nipe namba acha na hiyo hiyo imekwisha namna hiyo Dorcas Wangira Citizen TV your story